Across America, police departments are facing a shortage of officers, and that has been the case for Warner Robins since 2017. Carlos Stevens reports that Warner Robins mayor may have found a way to combat that problem. Police departments finding it hard to bring new officers on the force. But I spoke to the Warner Robins mayor today who tells me that story is changing in the international city. Since the beginning of this year, January of 2023, we have been successful in recruiting 17 individuals to work for the Warner Robins Police Department. 10 of those have already been sworn in as full-time officers and five more are on the way according to Mayor LaRonda Patrick. Patrick says they have also formed a partnership with Georgia Military College allowing recruits to attend the college for free of charge. She credits the leadership of their current interim police chief for the successful recruitment. But there is something else that she says has played a part. So last year there was a raise that was given across, the, across our city that included our police departments. So they got a total of 10% raise. Patrick says they also offer recruits a great benefits package and says they're looking to do another raise for the next physical year. A raise that one worker who didn't want to be identified hopes will get more officers in a shopping center where she works off of Watson Boulevard. Lately we have had a lot of stuff going around like shootings and robbing. And that worker says rather than protecting the area, she only see officers for one reason. One time I see them is when they pulling somebody over for a ticket. And she says she believes there's a number of things contributing to the crime in Warner Robins. Homelessness, people coming from Macon, don't have nowhere to go, no means of eating, no nothing. But Patrick says one of their top priorities is seeking officers who will serve. We're looking for people who are committed, hardworking, strong, innovative, who understand rules.